I ain't really. sacrificed everything searching for it. I won't speak during monologue. A world within a story whispered to me centuries ago. Hey, what's up, Cassidy? Of a timeless power. Infinite in knowledge. Voracious in hunger. The entity. A realm so close to ours, but always out of reach. Until I found him. Frank Stone, my key, my killer. I am Augustine Lieber, and I'm about to change our worlds forever. Oh, bit of monologue for years. This is Creeper. Um, this is a horror game, so I should probably use a pre-warning now if you if you get scared easily, this is meant to be a horror game. However, I don't think there'll be too many jump scares. I can't imagine there will be. Uh, let me know if the uh, stream lags at any point, by the way. Because I will have to turn down my texture quality if it's lagging. Oh dear, I'm terrible with horror games. <laughs> well, I don't know how scary this one will be because it is new. So I'm not sure whether there'll be jump scares. But if it's anything like the quarry, there's probably going to be jump scares. So, I'm here for it though, I'm here for it. Is that Frank Stone? That might be Frank Stone. Dog POV? Oh, hog. We got the dog POV. Already, 10 out of 10 game. Just for the dog POV. That baby that I'm hearing? We've been petted. Every furry's dream. Right here. Oh. Yo, vent POV. Also, if the volume's too loud, just let me know. I'll adjust volume levels as well. Just let me know if there's anything wrong and I'll try and fix it. So stug. The dog's the imposter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hunt for missing infant. Was that the infant that we just heard? Frank Stone is the dog? Crazy, bro. Also, based on the black and white filler, I'm guessing this takes place in the past. Is going to be my guess. Cedar Steel Mill, 1963. I think that said 1963. Snoring on the job. Typical snoring on the job. Housekeeping. Oh, not the police. Anything but the police. Okay, this is the character of Sam, apparently. 907 at night. I'm assuming you're the night watchman here. I am. Or just you? Cur Let me just quickly turn subtitles on. <laughs> should probably have done that, should I? Probably should have put subtitles on. Subtitles. I thought I had subtitles on, to be honest, but I guess not. Highest sight? There we go. I got help. Where are they now? On duty? Of a manor. Merlin just goes where he pleases. Merlin? A dog. Doberman Pincher. Best friend a fella could ask for. Loyal to the seventh horn sounds. Trust him more than I trust myself. Hmm. Need to ask you a few questions. You and the dog are security for the mill? So, you and the dog. Merlin. Merlin. Merlin is the you dog. Security for the Remember that. Mill? I know, I know. Overkill. But between the two of us, we get the job done. Though, I don't know where he's got himself to tonight. Maybe I scared him off. Scared him off? <laughs> that, that is a good one. <laughs> Thomas Jefferson Holtz is the name. Call me Tom. 
Good old Tom. Officer Sam Green. Hey up, Tom. You ain't one of Kusich's deputies, are you? My captain has loaned me to Sheriff Kusich as additional manpower. For the duration <laughs> I don't of care about the missing infant. Tell me oh, more about the dog. Jesus. The mm, That's right. The missing infant. Been drinking? Question mark. Or noticed anything suspicious? Well, I, I feel like the, the, the case isn't about him drinking. I feel like, you know, it's about the missing infant. So let's Notice stick on track. Anything suspicious around the mill? Tonight? Tonight, last few nights, anything at all? Oh. Nothing. I'm hearing a weird noise nothing. outside. Nothing. Oh, heck, don't take my word for it. Ask the sheriff. Sheriff Kusich has been here. He saw by last night asking about the exact same thing. And I told him the same thing I'm telling you. There's no way that boy could be here and Merlin and me not know about it. And what did the sheriff say? Okay, Tom. And he got back in his car and left. Huh. Hmm. That's all the sheriff said? So nobody's actually checked the mill. So what you're telling me is nobody's actually checked the mill for any sign of the boy. When you say nobody, does that include Merlin? No, Tom, it does not. I'm talking human investigators only. In that case, Sam, I find it hard to argue with your assessment. <sighs> Any objections if I take a look around the place? No objections from me. Of course, everything's locked for the night. It's not a problem. There's Merlin, of course. Of course. If you see him, tell him I'm looking for him. I'll make sure to send Merlin back to you, Tom. Tom. Thanks for your help. Happy to oblige. He didn't seem happy to oblige. It seemed like he was drinking. So I'm, I'm going to let him get back to his drinking. And I'm going to go looking around the mill. Let's go, let's go investigating, shall we? If Merlin stars, you leave a one star review. I will, I will. I'll leave a one star review on Steam saying, how dare you kill Merlin? Dogs are a no no. We do we do not kill the dogs. Of course, everything's locked up for the night. Hmm. I, I, I feel like we did see Merlin's perspective there for a moment, so. Let's have a quick walk around, though. Ooh, getting some cardio in. Ooh. To activate Plunderer's Instinct and reveal the aura of collectible trinkets. Oh, yo! It's like Eagle Vision. That's pretty cool. So we know something's behind here. Can I get access? Oh, you bet I can. You bet I can squeeze through. Yo, Ace's book. If something jump scares me now, I swear to God. I've already played a, I already played a horror game last night. I don't need any more jump scares today. So what have we found then? Let's open. Oh, it's a little chest. Did you see it? Iridescent key. Yo, who put the doctor on this map? Who put the doctor on this map? The iridescent king. Who put him on this map, eh? Can I inspect it any other way? Oh, is that it? I can't really go too far, like, into inspecting it, really. Maybe it's just more collectibles, I guess. I thought it was going to be a bit like Until Dawn, where, like, it was going to show me my future and how to prevent it. I mean, maybe there's something in the game like that, but. I know we're getting a dog jump scare at some point where Sam will just see, oh, damn, dog scared me. Also, did I just miss something? I, I think I just heard shouting. Merlin. Oh, it's Tom. It's Tom. It's only Tom. Merlin. An open window. I can get in through there. Why are you seeing an open window? Oh, right in front of me. 
<laughs> That's where I'm seeing it, right bloody in front of me. I was a bit like, where are we seeing an open window then? Go on, Sam. Get in that cardio. Huh. Easy does it. Search for the missing child. Is this... No, that cog isn't for anything. Also, I'm trying to click Q to activate my plunderer's instinct, but it's not letting me activate it. Can I just not activate it? Oh. I know, I feel like Merlin is probably going to jump scare us, right? It only makes sense that we get a dog jump scare. But nothing better happened to that dog. I'm saying right now, nothing better happened to the dog. Oh, I feel so uneasy. Perk removed instantly. Why did I only get a one-time use for the perk? Oh, that's ominous. Is there anything around here, though? No? I just want to make sure I'm not really missing anything. I like to get my collectibles. I'm not going to lie. Also, it's just a bit of a creepy environment, isn't it? All right, here we go. I'm surprised that was open. I honestly thought it was going to be a locked door, to be honest with you. Um, Still can't activate my plunderer's instincts. I'm a little bit sad about that. Okay, there's a lot. There's a couple of things I can examine here. Oh. Huh? What is that then? <laughs> pallet. Yo, it's a pallet. Employee's personal record. Date employed February 4th. Surname, preferred name. D E F A. Date of birth. 4 17 27. What? Oh, was the, was the birth date 1927? I thought it was 2027. Then I was like, what sort of futuristic time travel why me is this? Got a bit confused. I'm not going to lie. Still can't activate my plungers with instinct. I'm a little bit sad about that. I got, to, I got a one-time use out of it and now I can't even activate it. Friday the 13th afternoon... 2 o'clock till 10 o'clock. Harold Norris, Dennis McCann, Bobby Rivers, Frank Stone, and Lou Osterman. Frank Stone was on this list. Hmm, I wonder if any of any other of those names, you know, have any correlation with Dead by Daylight. Okay. Let's shift this, shall we? I'm throwing the shack pallet at five gens. Sorry, teammates. Throwing Shaq Palette at five gens. It's not very, uh, teamwork of me. Uh, right, where did I just come from? Did I just come from this door? Yeah. See, I told you there was a pallet. I, I, didn't, den I didn't deny there was one, did I? Locked. Of course it's locked. Of course it's locked. Why everything's Hello? always locked. Anyone here? Plunderer's instinct? Police. Nope, still can't use it. Why was it a one-time use, man? I got eagle vision for one second. Oh. Hello? That honestly scared me a little bit then. At least I don't have a gun to shoot this time. Um Okay. Door to the left that doesn't seem to have handles or ominous door under the light, the, the lamp. Hmm, I wonder which door I should go into. What exploded? It was like a light bulb, I think. Oh, I think, I think we'll get, I think we're going to find Frank Stone. Should I go up the stairs or should I go round? Maybe I should go up the stairs first. Get the high ground. It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. Oh, oh, of course it's fenced off. Is it just a chain, though? Just a chain. So I imagine maybe I get bolt, cut, bolt cutters or something. I don't know. Evil way. Evil way. I've got to make... I've got to remember to take screenshots. You know, if something crazy happens. Just for the... Just for the thumbnails. Just for the thumbnails. Ugh, smells like death. Smells like death. I smell like beef. 
Okay, we can either vault that or we can go around. Never mind, we can't go around, I don't think. Okay, I guess we're gonna vault a window. <laughs> Not really a window, but... Use the new Lara perk. Damn, bro, you got that fast vault in you. Tom! Hey, uh, Mr. Green. Officer. Oh, yes, sir, of course. Uh, we haven't seen Merlin, have you? No. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You all right there? That was a bit of a weird sound. Yeah, it's just... Jesus, you don't smell that? <laughs> Didn't know Sam had finesse. Yeah, the new Lara Croft book. Sniffer's out of commission. Got a little too up close and personal with a can of mustard gas back in the trenches. Ah. Uh, it can be a blessing in disguise. Ugh. Gotta find out where it's coming from. What's it smell like? <laughs> He's doing a bit too many ah, you know? Nothing good. It sounds a bit unrealistic to just every two seconds just go ah, ah, ah. <laughs> it's just a bit, I don't know. Damn, I think you might be overacting, but you're doing, you're doing a great job regardless. Oh. Merlin! There you are, boy. We wondered where you got to. Oh. Ah, oh, Merlin. It's actually Dracula in disguise. Come here, boy. Dang name it. <laughs> what did he say? Sure dang like name it. That's my new saying. It's God damn it with dang it. Dang name it. Why would you pick it up? Why would you pick it up? Who who? Who willingly picks that up? That's disgusting, you put Sam. This out for him? No. It looks like someone else has found his way to your boy's heart. Through his stomach. Oh. It ain't possible. Merlin and me, we're a team. Who'd want to come between a man and his best friend? Frank Stone? What's that? Some kind of wiener mate? Oh, stop picking it up, please. It's so gross. Uh, it's so gross. Uh, stop picking it up. Uh, why do you need to shine a flashlight on it to figure out it's an ear? You can clearly see it's an ear. Damn dog. Think that belongs to the boy you're looking for? This game is so dark already. There's no proof it does. It came from someone else. Um. Nah. Came from someone much older. A teenager, maybe. Jesus, married a milkmaid. Hey, you know about any other folks going missing in Cedar Hills lately? Well, I don't know. Who would know a thing like that? Well, somebody does. Yeah, gross, gross, gross. I thought that, uh, this game is already pretty dark, man. Examine. Ooh. Oh, it's my collectible pieces. That's brilliant. I get all my little bit. I get all my collectibles. What was that sound? Now, what Stay was that sound? Me. I want to be able to use Plunderer's Instinct, man. But I can't use my perk. Hmm. Great. So, what is this thing? The grape? Yeah, what is it for? <laughs> it's, uh... For the furnace, I think. You don't know for sure? Yeah, I work at the mill, not in the mill. Hmm. Hmm. Find something to pry it open. Like a like a crowbar or a pallet. <laughs> Here we go. Don't worry. I'm on the case. Officer Sam is on the case. Gotcha. Oh, it made the daylight noise. 
when you pick up items. That's so crazy, man. <laughs> oh my god, it made the Dead by Daylight noise. Dead by Daylight noise goes ding, and it went ding. Okay, let's pry it open. Use the item. Stand back. <laughs> We're such nerds, bro. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. Oh, mash, 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 mash. Yippee. Must be a heavy grade. Like, jeez. Dang, damn it. Was that spent in a skill check? Won't lie, I thought that. I thought, oh gosh, I'm gonna, hit, I'm gonna have right. to hit my skill checks now. Take this. Use the radio in my car and call the station. Where, where are you going? You, you really think that boy's down there? I don't know, but I got a feeling, and it's not a good feeling. It's not a good feeling. Hey, I'm gonna need you to take this too. Make sure the sheriff gets this. Oh boy, I don't know. We don't have time for this. I need your help here. I need your help here, Tom. I need your help here, Tom. Something tells me Sam's not making it alive. Like out of here alive. I just don't know if I'm made of the stuff, buddy. They don't call it a higher calling for nothing. You gotta rise to meet it. You can do this. You know, considering these guys met like two minutes ago, they're already like best bros. Like, yeah. I can do this. Hey. I'm counting on you, Tom Hope. They're already like best bros. This is great. Go on, Tom. You put your faith in Tom. I believe I did. I believe I did. Go be a hero, Tom. Go be a hero. Uh, I'm not so sure about Sam's fate, though. I feel like Sam isn't going to make it out alive. I feel like I'm going to be put in a difficult situation and I'm going to pick the wrong choice. And I think Sam's going to meet his end. So... Well, that 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 means we're not getting out of here anytime soon. I don't get to just leave, unfortunately. Yo, we're in the sewers. Penny Pennywise confirmed for Dead by Daylight. <laughs> which way do I go? Oh, which way do I go? Well, he was facing this way, so surely I go this way, right? <laughs> the Vecna map. <laughs> um, I'm hearing other footsteps. Furnace access. This has got to be it. Oh, I don't like this very much. Huh? Symbols. I don't know about this one. I'm a little bit unsure, Sam. I keep I keep thinking I'm hearing footsteps, but it was just raindrops. Ah, uh, this place turns my stomach. It is a little bit creepy, isn't it? Okay, I get the feeling we're gonna crawl under there, but real quick, I knew there was gonna be a collectible. <gasps> it's a little hillbilly. It's a little hillbilly. Look at him. It's a little hillbilly. What a cute little guy. Am I not taking him? Oh, his forehead's so big. <laughs> He's a little bit of hillbilly. He's a little bit of a hillbilly. Goddamn small spaces. <clears throat> Well, that doesn't look ominous.
Another collectible. Maybe a piece off Frank Stone's mask. My God. Uncertain, uncertain. Can't squeeze through there, so only one way to go. And it's the most ominous path of them all. Let's just get it over with. There is skill checks. There is skill checks. <laughs> I had to hit a skill check for falling, bro. Well, at least we know there's skill checks in the game. Something tells me those skill checks are going to come back later on, though, for a much bigger part of the game. Like, if I'm being chased by a monster, it's going to want me to hit, like, 20 skill checks. Alright, what have we found, Sam? What have we found? <laughs> the Stromino gas pipe got you. Oh. oh. Fuck. Oh. This is a bit messed up. Crib. Shit. Frank Stone. Ladder or ramp? Ladder or ramp? I don't know if I can decide. Because on one hand, the ladder seems like the choice that's probably going to mess you over. At first, because Frank Stone looks like he's more in that direction. But I feel like he's set up trapped on the ramp. I'm going to go with the ladder. I'm going to go with the ladder. Something tells me the ladder is a safe choice. The ladder was not the safe choice. But you know what? I feel like we've had a, I feel like we would have had a similar circumstance with uh, the ramp. There he is, the big man himself. Frank Stone. Time to duel it out. Frank! Frank! We can talk this out, buddy! Whack! Skill check! Yeah! Mess him up! Mess him up! Come on, Sam! Mess him up! Sam! Mess him up! I got put on my first hook! At five gens? I got put on my first hook at five gens? That, that, that's not very realistic, is it now? I would have at least looped him for one gen. Oh. You use slippery meat. You use slippery meat or deliverance. There you go. Yeah, there you go. That's that's the deliverance value. Hooked in basement. <laughs> you freed yourself. Okay, Sam, come on. Come on, Sam. Come on. Come on, Sam. Get up. Oh, this is making me feel real uneasy. I feel like this is going to get demonetized really quickly. Good shot, Sam. Good shot, Sam. Decisive strike right there. You shot Frank Stone and saved the child. Wait, the child could actually die? That's messed up. 
But you know what? We saved the child, so it's fine. And we we, we, we we got rid of Frank Stone. However, there was another figure a minute ago. I saw another figure. The entity. Go on, show the entity. Yeah, baby! Frank Stone confirmed for Dead by Daylight, maybe. <laughs> I feel like I'm jumping to conclusions there. But the entity rises. Look, you see his little... Yeah, there you go, there it is. Frank Stone for next light, next killer. If it, I don't know if it'll be a licensed killer or not. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, Madison. It's okay. Okay. Mm hmm. I really need to sneeze. That's you! What's me? Just thought I'd give you a warning chat that I needed to sneeze. Uh, oh. You know, I feel like it's a bit unnatural for the for the bedroom to be in the middle of the woods or for the roof to, mid, to be completely missing, but. Uh -huh. Hello? Am I still in dreamland? I can't help but feel like I'm still in a dream. Uh, a friend? Maybe? I don't know. Oh, that's creepy. Am I upside down? Candle. Oh. 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 Bit of a PT situation going on. The hallways, they repeat. Bit of a PT situation. Oh, never mind. We're out, we're out of there. Yo, scratch marks! That's crazy, bro. They gave me scratch marks. I have fixated base kit. That's insane. I had deliverance base kit. Fixated base kit. Like, that's cool. I don't have scratch marks anymore. Okay, I lost my base kit uh, fixated. There's a TV. Oh, did we get Onrio? I don't want to go against Onrio, man. Can we not go against Onrio? Maybe Frank Stone is a teaser for like the first killer and first survivors canonically. Ooh, that could be interesting. I'm here. Everything's all right. Yo, the entity has some beef with her. The end game collapse ran out. That's why her mum got stabbed by the entity. It was it was only the end game collapse. Get a grip. Hmm. 
What was that? It made like a dramatic music on the item. I best not get copyrighted for this song. Behavior. I best not get copyrighted. I'm gonna be real upset if I get copyrighted for this. Okay, we're back with Madison. It isn't going to be a scene change. Madison, uh, almost nine o'clock. How do you not know what side of the road to drive on? I could not read that in time. Is that a hitchhiker? Maybe we don't stop. Maybe we don't stop for them. I have, I, do I stop? Ah, uh, okay, we'll stop, we'll stop. I, I don't know if I like this idea, but at the same time, if it's somebody that can help us from uh, getting killed later on. Uh, hi. <clears throat> so, uh, you need a lift? Reynolds got a flat. Oh, you're American. Yeah. So am I. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so... Do you mind giving me a lift? Right, sure, of course. You can drop me off at Garrett Manor. It's just a few miles up the road. Huh, weird. That's actually where I'm going, too. So it's not out of your way? Uh, guess not. Going to the same place? Hmm... Your fate change, see? See? Hmm, I, I knew we should have picked her up. I think if we didn't, I think our character could have been in more danger at a later date. So we're both going to the same place, huh? What are the odds of that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess it's not all that odd, seeing as, you know, we're already pretty close. And <laughs> Madison. I don't think this road goes anywhere else. So, did you say you were going to Garrett Manor for business, or...? I did not. Oh. So, um... Madison, stop talking! Um, like, where do you live? Paris. That's where I'm from, currently. Before that, I was from Amsterdam, Dublin, Milan, Los Angeles, and Oregon. Once upon a time. That's cool. She's been everywhere. My mom's from Oregon. Well, one of them is. I always heard it was really nice. Or kind of a shithole, but like a really nice kind of shithole. I mean, I wouldn't know anyway because I've never been. I'm a big apple girl, born and raised. <laughs> She's Barely making very awkward small talk. Before going off to college. Here in England? Uh, no, Berlin, actually. Oh, I'm Maddie, by the way. Linda. It's nice to meet you, Maddie. Good to yeah, meet you, Linda. Me yeah, I was worried you might try to clonk me. Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, what do you know about the manor? What do you do for a living? Oh, what do you do for a living? Maybe that might answer why okay, she's at the so manor. What do you do for a living that takes you all over the place? I'm a filmmaker. I travel a lot for film shoots and festivals and. Oh, the other usual oh, you have relationships books. in this game. Oh, wow. I heard that's a real tough kind of job to get. Easy to get. Hard to keep. <laughs> had to bury a few bodies, huh? <laughs> well, I've had to work real hard to get where I am, but I'd be kidding myself if I didn't also acknowledge there isn't a certain amount of dumb luck to it. <laughs> Come on. You don't just dumb luck your way into a successful film career. Mm, You'd be surprised. You can. <laughs> I never would have guessed this is what I'd end up doing with my life. Mmm, sure. Definitely seems like the kind of thing you just end up doing. Our relationship went up twice there with Linda. I would say that's not bad. Hey. Take a look. There's the manor. 
I'm surprised though. I, I thought we'd be at the mill. Oh, the ha in the House of Darkness. The Geront Manor, 2024. That's some Resident Evil R mansion. <laughs> it does kind of scream Resident Evil, doesn't it? This place is definitely a little too, uh... On the nose? I was gonna say a little <laughs> too much like a horror movie. Exactly. So, um, do we just knock or... I'm not sure. Oh, I... doorbell. That was a very creepy doorbell. Maybe nobody's home. This is definitely when I was told to get here. Mm, me too. Hello? Anybody home? I'm sure knocking continuously will help the problem. It's a good rule of thumb to try every door. No, oh, you think? Well, they're expecting us, aren't they? No way is it. Oh. Do we just go in? Well, it's not breaking Why and entering you if you if you're not breaking anything, this you're just entering. Up. So are you, Maddie. <sighs> then uh, here we go. Apparently. Very ominous. But it's fine. I'm sure we won't run into any danger. Beats me. If they didn't have the lights off, their electricity bill would be sky high. I don't blame them for Hello. having the lights off. Let's take a look around. <laughs> it's got the double RE staircase. Yo, it does. Um, Resident Evil, basically. Hello? 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 Right, we won't go upstairs just yet. I want to keep it very simple. We've arrived. We've arrived. This seems a bit more lively. I don't like the fact that we just entered, though. I mean, we did try to knock, but... When she said a good rule of thumb was to try every door, I thought she meant go around the house and maybe try the back door or something. Oh. Hello. Ah, ladies. Hello, hello, welcome. Hello. Didn't exactly get explicit directions as to what to do once I got here, so... <laughs> yeah, um, same. I am so sorry. Where are my manners? My name is Stan. Stan. Can you be? Maddie. Maddie. Beautiful name. Short for Madeline. Madison, actually. Ah, huh. middle name Lexington? What? Midtown. The Big Apple? The, the city that never sleeps. Home to the most beautiful of women and fiendishly desperate of men. <laughs> Madison Avenue. Okay, got it. A fitting name for such a lovely lady. Hmm. This place is Creep Town. I've been waiting on here a while. Yeah, what's Stan doing here? Um, is he the you owner? Been waiting here a while? More than a minute and less than a lifetime. Is that long? Well, it certainly felt that way until you arrived. What is wrong with this guy? The front door. He's so locked. strange. So I wandered around and made myself at home. Till I found a way to really make myself at home. Okay, Stan, you're pushing Isn't it a bit, lad. Weird, there's no one here. I mean, we were invited, right? Ah, yes. Well, one could write a book and all the incomprehensible complexities of British hospitality. Many have. In fact. Oh, Stan, this is... Linda Castle. Oh? I am such a huge fan of your work. I, I am... I, I'm at a loss for words. I am just humbled by your presence. Uh, okay. Sure. Bruno Stanford III. At your beck and call. Only to call me Stan. 
Did he not realize it was Linda when he when she first sure. walked in? Truly an honor. <laughs> Truly. I don't like Stani gives me the creeps. I'm not gonna lie to you. Wow, I didn't realize you were like famous, famous, famous construct, and I'm not. Oh no, there I would beg to differ. Your modesty is only outweighed by your incredible body of work. Living and dying by the light of the moon, transcend it. Blood on the brain, mandatory. Forgotten flesh. I don't even know where to begin. All right, okay. Miss Castle, you are the quintessential countercultural cinematic icon of our times. I appreciate the kind words. I just didn't expect them here. Wow, so you're really the quintessential cult counter culture icon wait didn't you two come here together oh no i mean yeah we drove in together but only the last couple miles i had some car trouble i see i'm sorry i thought that you were miss castle's assistant <laughs> nope just me wait should i be flattered or insulted by that oh well <laughs> i didn't mean i'm just flattered you think i have an assistant I'm sure if you did, she would not be nearly as charming as, as Miss Avenue. Your last name is Avenue? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what? Did I miss something? Only that we are at a loss at what to do in the absence of our host. Wherever they may be. I guess we should keep looking around. I mean, why not at this point? Maybe our host hmm. has left something out for us. I'm a bit, I'm a bit unsure what what's Madison's doing, actually Stan? doing here. Stan is well, such a kiss ass. Yeah, he is. And fast cars and I don't like Stan very much I'm gonna be honest he's not my favorite oh, character obviously. the epic of Gilgamesh desperate to get a crumb of a cooker a bit of like bedtime reading hmm well I'm not gonna read all that but uh, I did open it for the people over on YouTube, so if they wanted to pause it after, you know, when they're watching the video, then they can. Revive did not say cookie. What did you say? Oh! Desperate to get a crumb of coochie. I thought that was a K. Well, you know, ignore me. I'm a bit confused though. It, it it told me I could activate. Oh, it told me I can activate uh, Plunderer's Instinct, but then I've not been able to use it since the beginning of the game. So, huh? Hmm. Movie poster inside a cabinet. Interesting choice. Hey, either of you heard of Murder Mail? Holy Shinobi! You're Holy kidding, Shinobi! Right? No. Not the only one around here who's familiar with it. Wait, this is one of yours? It's one of the first things I ever worked on. Super low budget. We had no idea what we were doing. Should never have seen the light of day. I still wish it hadn't. Why? Well, things tend to get blown out of proportion. I heard it was only screened a few times. And each time, the audience flew into a rabid, murderous rage. No, no, come on. Don't try and deny it. The film is legendary. I think people were just bored out of their minds. Look, I'm sure they made you sign all sorts of non-disclosure agreements by... What? Who? The government. When they confiscated and destroyed every existing copy of the film. Oh, give me a break. I heard they kept at least one, just in case. And the CIA has got this secret lab called Leary's Memorial Institute, where they <gasps> use it for enhanced interrogation. Leary's Memorial How do you Institute. Know all this? I'm a fan. And it pays to know this kind of stuff. Stan, I hope the entity silences you. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of Stan, but he did just drop some law dump on us with that Leary's reference. Supposed to happen? I don't know, but I am digging the theatrics. <laughs> ah, good. I see you three have wasted no time getting acquainted with each other. 
I'm so very sorry for the delay in my arrival. There are a great many things that require my attention at the moment, and I would hate to have to deprive you of my full attention while we are together. <clears throat> ah, yes, and speaking of needing attention... Uh, all dried up, are we? We can't have that. After all, you're far too capable of a negotiator when you're sober. Mm. And twice that when I'm not. <laughs> Madison, would you also like a refreshment? Uh, it's just Maddie. Oh, my mistake, Maddie, it is. Oh, it's fine. Nonsense. Never be shy about what you call yourself. Your name is who you are. That's important to remember. I like this character. And who are you? I call myself Augustine Lieber. Nice to meet you, Augustine Lieber. Now that we are properly introduced, I must again offer you a drink. Hmm. Uh, let's let's deny the drinks. Stay uh, sober, you know. That's okay. Are you sure? It's very good. It can confirm. <laughs> yeah, flying and drinking doesn't agree with me. Thanks, though. Hmm. That changed our fate, so that was a very important decision. I just think I so being sober is the best case scenario today. here. I hope, despite that, you'll find it'll all be worth the effort. Guess that's up to you now. Isn't it? I suppose it is. Well, I'll, I'll show you mine. Do show me yours. Aren't we a bit eager? <laughs> Manners, Mr. Stamford. Not all of us are caught up yet. <laughs> Brass tacks, Augustine. I did not come all this way just for drinks. What's in there? Look, I don't know what you two have come to sell her, but I just happen to have one of the most sought after pieces of rare cinematic ephemera to ever hit the market. Huh. Well, that right there is the only surviving segment of film from the original camera shot celluloid of one Murder Mill. Also, they do have a copy of Murder Mill. Of a certain noted Artur, allegedly, should be worth a small fortune. So I'm told. Hate to burst your bubble. Damn it. There goes its one of a kind value. Not quite. I, I. I never knew what it was from. Oh, <gasps> she had the copy. You told me I had to bring this to you in person if I wanted to make it. I will keep the promises I made to you. All of you. What if I don't want to sell? Well, that would be your choice. But after 40 years of pain, why would you choose to live with more? I have to apologize again, but there are urgent matters I must attend to in my private reliquary. You're welcome to continue to make yourselves at home until I return. I really think we need to finish discussing all in due course. Miss Castle. Mm. So I like Augustine, but I don't entirely trust her. We were so close. I could feel the entity's force, its power pulsating through the steel mill. Until Sam Green's petty act of bravado ruined everything. The ritual disrupted. My key mangled. Wait, so was Augustine the other Yet figure Frank that was Stanley there? Didn't die that night. His essence was seared into the very foundations of the mill. An endless, agonized nightmare. I had to find the right means to awaken him. Mm, I'm sure the Entity will come back. I'm sure that's not the last we'll see of the Entity. If Augustine has anything to say about it. You just don't get it, do you? Mm. You think we're weak? That we're nothing? You make me sick. <laughs> Oh, 
There's just one thing you bastards will just never understand. You can tie us up. You can torture us. You can put us through every hellish trial your sick imaginations can come up with. But you'll never defeat our spirit. Oh, <gasps> bomb machine! Ah! All I have to do is betray my own sister, and you'll let me go free to fight another day. God damn you! God damn you for forcing me to make this impossible choice! This acting is awful. But I imagine that, like, that's purposeful. Hopeless, take her. I'd rather die. Stick to your guns. You fail to see what truly makes us human. I'd rather die a thousand miserable deaths than betray someone I love. My answer is no. And there is nothing you can do to change my mind. All right, you alien scum. Do your worst. I can take it. Why is this going on for so long? And cut. How was that? That was amazing. That went on for so long. It wasn't like too much? No way. <sighs> I feel like maybe I oversold it a little. You gotta play to the cheap seats, I made. That's where the money is. Rad. How do we do, Linda? Was that a good one? Uh, let me check the gate. So that's Linda. You can check the gate on these little super eights. But this was um, when she was younger. No, actually, the lens doesn't come off. So somebody just wanted to show off all the fancy new crap they learned from the film production books in the library. I'm just trying to take the craft seriously. The craft, jeez, Louise. <laughs> so, are are we good or what? Yeah, I mean, it looked great. How did the blood gag look? Um, well, Linda, you did get the blood gag, didn't you? I mean, it's really all about how Jaime sells it. I did really sell it. Yeah, but did you get any of it in frame? You kind of see it splash up in Jaime's face a little. Oh, Linda! I told oh. you, I wanted a wide close-up that shows off our super cool bloody arm gag and Jaime's face acting. That's just an extreme shot of Jaime's face acting. I was in the moment. I have to be allowed to express my artistic instincts with the camera, too. And there's no such thing as a wide close-up. Or an extreme shot. Or face acting. It's just acting. Does anyone Oh, I trust Linda's judgment. Linda, you've got to respect the director. I'm going to say I'm going to trust Linda's judgment because they are right about what they're saying. Of course, Chris, you're the director. But like, part of the job is working with people you trust. And I trust Linda's judgment on the camera stuff, you know? Let's just shoot both versions and then we can see which way works better in the edit. And it'll be my way because I'm the director. Mm. Don't really like Chris then. Hold still. Let me clean you off. And we'll get it on this one. If we don't, you can just make it up to me in my trailer after the shoot. Ugh. Oh, it's like spearmint cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, all my gagging was kind of real. Mm, more you guys back. want me to leave? All right, all right. On your feet, people. Everybody back to one. We're going back again. to square We're one. Again. Okay. Sound speeds? Um, uh, camera speeds. 
All right, everybody settle. And hold. And hold. And action. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh! Fuck! No! Oh, dude, that is not good. What do you think you're doing in here? Oh, hi. Oh, is that Sam? Sam? Sheriff. Sheriff. Right. But Sorry. he's now the sheriff. How many times have I told you to stay away from this place? We were just in the middle of a take. A take? For our film production. You can't shoot a movie in here. But this is where the big climax happens. This is a condemned steel mill, Mr. Rivera. And you are trespassing. Now, unless you want to spend the night locked up in jail, I suggest you, Miss Castle, and Miss... Dixie. Miss Tammy D. Dixie. <laughs> that was... Miss Gordon. <laughs> Miss Christine Gordon. I suggest you immediately vacate the premises. And you do not, under any circumstances, sit one foot back here in the Cedar Still Mill. Ever. Oh. If we don't, we won't get our last shoots. We're really, really sorry. We're really, really sorry. I'm sorry, Sam. Oh, man. Sir, we're really sorry. We, we didn't realize we were doing anything wrong. We'll clear out. Hi, May. We've got a movie to finish. I know, but we have to do what the sheriff says. He's the sheriff. I don't care who he is. He and we're very happy to do whatever the sheriff asks. And, uh, don't forget to clean up. Oh, my God. I cannot open this water bowl. Okay, there we go. <gasps> kind of went everywhere. Uh, what are we supposed to do with a busted camera? I guess that's it then. What are we supposed to do with a busted camera? What are we supposed to do with a busted up camera? You get it fixed. Finish your movie. Elsewhere. Anywhere else but here. The hell crawled up his ass. Nah, he's not so bad. Usually. We're not gonna do what he says, right? Really? Oh. We'll figure out how to finish the movie when we get back to the garage. I'm vibing with this music, but again, I best not get copyrighted. I'm gonna be real upset behavior. All wrapped out, sir. Thank you, Jaime. Now remember what I said, because I'm not gonna warn you again. Yes, sir. So does Sam Green just come back to the mill every now and then just to have a look around? Because, you know, he took care of Frank Stone, so... Not quite sure why he would come back to the mill, really. Oh, 1980, so 44 years earlier than uh, what we, the time that we were just in. Like we've got a real deadline. Ugh, who needs a real deadline when every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic eternal 
deadline. I really don't Gosh. like Chris. I think she's a bit over dramatic. I don't like it. Hey, what are these? Oh, I got those for us all to wear when we shoot. Surprise. Wait, you guys are both acting. So it'll just be me? So you'll be like our ambassador. <laughs> yeah, not a chance. Hmm. Oh, whoa, whoa, don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good. Unless, you know, you open it. Ugh, whatever. We got some good stuff today. Glass half full. Dude, just let me be upset. Well, uh, what is her character, bro? Does Sheriff Green have anything better to do with his time? Like, go after actual criminals and shit? Cedar Hill is not exactly a noted hotbed of criminal activity. That's not entirely true. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up, what now? When was this? Uh, I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, you're still just a baby. And you still don't know anything. Now, be a good little baby and tell me all about this whole serial killer business. I know some stuff. Spill it, lady. For starters, I think that's why Sheriff Green doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Oh yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. <gasps> and you held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all like this. Hell yeah, I would. Linda, tell me about the steel mill killer. Well, that's where it all ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. <sighs> so what was this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, I don't know if we... Frank Stone. Huh. So, Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mill? Like, our steel mill? Where we were just shooting, like, an hour ago? That's the theory. Frank was working at the mill, but... I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. They shut it down right after. Hmm. Who were the victims? What do you think he was up to? Oh, I, I, I do want to know how many victims, the victims it was. Just people. Some from the town. Some were never identified. The killings were random. There was no pattern. Like, how many are we talking? No one knows for sure. Because they never found the bodies they found parts mm, do you know what this means why withhold all this until now oh wait am i playing as chris do you know what this means? yeah i am that way you need a new location no dummy that we already have the best location how do you think about it our movie shot in a real life murder mill? You can't buy that kind of publicity, Buster. Oh. People are actually gonna wanna see this thing. We're gonna be like totally famous. Okay, sure. We might get some butts in seats, but like, what if they don't like what they see? Then we just gotta make sure these last couple of scenes are gonna blow the top of their heads off. Ah, uh, fuck, but not if our fucking camera is fucking broken. Ugh. Hey. Why don't we just take the camera to the drugstore and see if we can get it fixed? So, yeah, the thing is, I kind of spent the rest of the budget on the t-shirts. <laughs> Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance, we're kind of shit out of luck. What? Uh, um. You want a piece of me too? Ah, scary lady. Howdy, partner. You okay? Hey, you okay? What's up? Nothing, it's fine. Mm, didn't sound fine. As soon as mom got sick, I dropped everything in my whole life in New York to come home and help. And all he does is act like I'm not doing enough. It's like he doesn't even care what I had to give up. A wooga. <laughs> worried about mom. <laughs> yeah. That's why I'm here. The least he could do is try not to ground me like I'm 16. Totally. What is he thinking, right? Sorry, I guess I just needed to blow off some steam. I get it. The last thing mom needs is for us to be screaming at each other. It's true. <coughs> yeah, and you've been doing an incredible job. I mean it. I, I don't know what we'd do without you. Uh-oh. What? What? 
Linda, where's the Jaime bell? <laughs> ring, ring. What's the Jaime bell? My darling brother has the tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. No, I'm just speaking from the heart. Okay. What do you need from me? Money. Oh, well, we need money. We're this movie, and we're so close to finishing, but we just need a little extra bit of money. Of course you do. What else is new? What Jaime's trying to say is our camera got busted today, and we need a few bucks to get it fixed. Ouch. How much do you need? 20 bucks would cover it, just 10 bucks. Uh, I'm gonna go on the higher end just to be just on the like safe side. 20 bucks would probably cover it. 20 bucks. That ain't pocket change. That's how much camera repairs cost these days. Seriously? We're trying to make this thing good, and good don't come cheap. Hmm. Huh. You guys really needed to finish the film? Yeah. I like Bonnie. All yeah, right. Bonnie's a good character. I like all the characters right. so far, anyway, apart from Chris. Chris right. is the only character that's a oh, bit just... She's tonight. not working Why? for me. Why? Because I need it. This is where all our editing stuff is. Well, that's the deal. Take it or leave it. Uh, all right. It's a deal. Try not to waste it. Don't worry. We'll put it to good use. Oh, laggy. Right there. You're looking a little uh, wiggly. I'm fine. It's just... Uh, what is in that fake blood? I think it's just mint flavored real blood. Oh, it did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact. You washed it all off like right away, right? Uh, you don't think it's like actually poisonous, do you? <laughs> it's a horror movie, Jaime. Anyone could go. Yeah, any time. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there's enough time to fix the camera before they close tonight. I'm not sure the drugstore clerk will even know how to fix it. Hey, think positive. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we could take it. What? What about there? I thought that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. Do curiosity shops even repair cameras? There was a place like that near my grandfather's house. The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. You never know. Hmm. I bet they have some rad old junk, too. <laughs> Your call, Chris. The drugstore or the curiosity shop. I'm going to take a trip into Adventureland and go curiosity. I certainly am curious regarding said shop. Eh? Yes, I get it. Lead the way. Because how boring would it be if I went to the normal store, you yeah. know? I didn't know any better. I'd say this place looks like it's been here forever. And a half. Maybe you should write it in. Don't tempt me. What if the owner is a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and turns them into antiques? Then we hit the jackpot. Check out the wares. Ooh, cameras. Uh, these look like they've seen better days. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bit too old cameras. I'm not gonna put the best ones in the window. I gotta look inside. Ah. Uh, too bad. So much for that. We can still out the drugstore before it closes. And what is it you're looking for? Oh. Hello. Hello. We saw the cameras. We're trying to find a replacement for this. Of course you are. Please. I thought we were Come repairing on. the camera, not replacing it. W was the idea not to repair the camera? Oh, did I miss a piece of dialogue? I, I think I have something that may interest you if I can find it out back. Please make yourselves at home. Okay. Mm. And be sure to have a look around. You never know what treasures you might find. There's going to be collectibles galore in here, right? Yourselves at home? Here? I don't know. 
I think it's kind of cozy. In a failed capitalist state kind of way. <laughs> Let's see. Mm. Ah, guys. Oh, cute bunny. I don't know if you can hear it, but the Huntress lullaby is in the background. It's just very quiet. Guys, it's the Huntress mask. We're getting a lot. I told you, collectibles galore in here. Whoever owned this place before had some lousy luck. Hmm. Oh, gosh, what's happening over here, then? Oh, gosh. Um, what is he looking at? Let's say, hypothetically, she does find a camera for us back there. What's the next move? We got everything we need to finish this sucker. Well, except the mill. Sheriff Green's gonna have I'd actually sob if anything Dead by Daylight related donated in our charity shop. <laughs> Oh, I could chat with him. Should we chat with him? Oh, there's got to be another way into the mill. We have to finish. We have to. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I think he just tripped over the carpet. No big deal. Bro, artist. <laughs> I'm just making any comparisons I can to Dead by Daylight. Ah, it's locked. Worth a shot, though. Worth a shot. I'm surprised we saw the Huntress mask this early, to be honest. I thought it would have been a little later. If she comes running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw. I'm gonna be like, so bummed out. <laughs> You're in luck. A very fine item indeed. Yes. Whoa. But may I? I insist. Is it better than our camera? She made it out like it was better than our camera. It's pretty old. Never mind. Possible we could make it work, but it's not exactly what we had in mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, how much are you asking for it? Oh, there's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. Why don't you take a look? We're going to have an option to lie, aren't we, about the price? 20 bucks. Oh, 20 bucks. Perfect. Feels a little bit high. That seems reasonable. For a camera, that seems reasonable. Okay. Sure. I think that seems reasonable for something like this. Thank you very much. Thanks for finding us a camera. Oh. It was no trouble at all. It truly is such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's us. Like, I'm sure we could have haggled the price down to like 10. But would that really have changed anything if we had $10 left over, you know? I feel like it would not change hey, anything. Guys, oh, I'm such a moron. I told my mom I'd pick up some milk on the way home. Oh, do you want me to... Hold this. Be right back. Wait, Chris, we just spent all the money. Emergency sock quarter. <laughs> Emergency sock quarter? Emergency sock quarter. Okay, so this is drugstore. Drugstore, we need to buy milk. Milk in drugstore. Cursed movies? Really? Must be a slow news day. Okay, best left behind. I feel like by not reading all the writing, I'm probably missing a lot of uh, lore dump, but at the same time, it's a lot of writing. Oh, chest. Waterlogged shoe. Whose add-on is that? Does that belong to Hag? I feel like that's a Hag add-on. Holly, can you confirm? Is that a Hag add-on? A waterlogged shoe. You're gonna grab the milk, or what? Yeah, that's Hag. Ah. Uh... Another missing kid. Benny Baker. I hope they're found. Hmm. Oh. 
Oh, do I get to play? Yes. Oh, I'm the greatest gamer there ever was. The greatest gamer there ever was. Look at me go. Look at me go. I'm so good at this freaking game. You can try and defeat me, but it ain't gonna happen, baby. Uh, I go undefeated. I have... I'm gonna set the new high score. What is the high score for this game? I don't know. Oh! I have multiple lives. That's cool. Oh, come on, set a high score, please. I'm such a gamer. If I can hit Huntress Hatchets, I can do this. Did you spend your milk money on the arcade? No, surely not. I imagine it's free. I can't imagine I just spent the milk money on the arcade machine. Come on, one more. Oh, what do you mean you moved to the left that soon? Oh, he's so hard to hit. Yes! Oh, there was more. Okay. It's fine, it's fine. I got a score in 990. I feel like that's good enough. Hello? I would like to buy the milk. Hey, Chris. Robert! How did you know hey, it was I me? I worked at the library. How would you know? Don't think I ever saw you come in. I got spies everywhere, man. So, Linda. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> you can always come in yourself, you know. Books don't bite. Uh, Linda's the bookworm. I'm more of a movie worm. Mm, I don't think that's a real kind of worm. Neither's a bookworm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so we're about to close in like two minutes, so. Oh, right, yeah. Ring me up. All right, that'll be 25 cents. Okay. They told you I didn't spend the sock, the the, the emergency sock quarters. Yeah, you sure don't see coin like this working in the library. Actually, you don't see any coin. It's volunteer hours. Not so bad if you like to read, I guess. Mm, true. We've got a rad horror section, too. Didn't know you were a horror guy. Just books? Movies, comics, too. Whatever I can get my hands on. You know, Jaime and Linda and I are all making a horror movie down at the old Cedar Steel Mill. No kidding. We could always use an extra hand if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, super into it. But... Does my dad know you're going into the mill? Oh, it's Sam he Green's kid. Like uh, yeah, we had a little run-in with him today, but we're going to sneak back in to shoot the rest. <laughs> He's standing right behind me, isn't he? I would love to be involved. involved hey, what's in up, Arbitz? Hey, Dad. Yeah, uh, Chris was just telling me about a, um, a... We're putting together a fundraiser. To show movies at the library. Okay. You need a ride home? Oh, yeah. Uh, let me just get my bag. I feel like he knows the truth. Feel like he knows the truth. Chris. I'm sorry I was a little harsh with you and your friends before. I just wanted to make sure you're taking me seriously. They told me about Frank Stone. We're still going to finish our movie. I get it. They told me about Frank Stone. Got to be a lot of demons in a place like that. When you spend enough time in my line of work, you realize every place has got its deeds. You ready? Let's get out of here, please. 
making me very uneasy with Sam Green there. Hey, hey, hey. I can get you back into the mill without him knowing. Just say the word. Oh. Let's make a movie. <laughs> Let's go. What was his name again? <laughs> I forgot his name. Hmm. I have worn many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Leeper was renowned, professional and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me. Robert? Okay, yeah. Allowed me to Big up Robert. his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now, a new guise. A new timeline. A new chance. Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair even for me. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. Augustine's the but what old true woman creator wouldn't suffer for their art. I mean, I knew she had to be. I don't know. 